Kids, my name is the GKN Sankey FV432, but you can call me the Bulldog for short. That's what all my friends call me. You can probably see that I am, of course, a tank. But did you know that there are many different types of tanks that are all designed to do different jobs? I'm proud to say that I am an armored personnel carrier. That means it's my job to take people where they need to go as safely as possible. Some of the places I go can be very dangerous. But I've got a few tricks up my sleeve to keep whoever is inside me safe and sound. I'm mostly made out of steel, which acts like a suit of armor, just like a knight would wear. Steel is a super strong metal, but boy is it heavy. I weigh over 15 tons, which is the same as three elephants. And that's when I'm empty. I can carry as many as 12 people in my giant metal belly and all their equipment too. You can fill me with over 3,000 kilos and I can still keep rolling. That's more than the weight of two cars. Being so heavy means that I need to have a really powerful engine to get moving. Underneath my hood, I have a Rolls-Royce petrol engine which produces up to 240 horsepower. Don't worry though, there aren't any real horses in there. At least I hope there aren't. Once I'm up to full speed, I can travel up to 38 miles an hour, which is almost as fast as a galloping horse can run. To make sure I can move through the wettest and wildest terrain, I have these tracks on either side of me instead of wheels. My tracks allow me to travel over, under, and through the toughest obstacles. If you tried to drive your car through some of the places I can go, you'd be slipping and sliding all over the place and probably get stuck in the mud. What do you think of my paint job? Pretty cool, huh? It's called camouflage. Just like some animals, my camouflage helps me keep well hidden when moving through all kinds of environments. I also have a special hatch on my roof so that the tank commander can have a look around and tell my driver where to go. Oh look, here's a friend of mine. Hey everyone, I'm the Alvis CVRT Spartan, but around here, I'm just known as Spartan. I'm also proud to say I'm an APC, armored people carrier to you and me. Now I might not be as big and as strong as the bulldog over there, but what I lack in size, I make up for in lightning speed. With a top speed of 60 miles per hour, I can travel as fast as a cheetah. If you need to get somewhere safely and quickly, I'm the vehicle for you. Oh, and did I mention I can travel at that speed backwards as well? Uh, no big deal, I guess. My armor is made of a metal called aluminum, which is much lighter than steel. Next to the bulldog, I'm practically an Olympic sprinter. When you combine my lightweight with my powerful Jaguar engine, I can zip along at super speeds. I come equipped with a number of periscopes which give the people inside a 360 degree view from the safety of my chassis. It's quite compact inside my chassis, but I can comfortably carry up to seven people, a crew of three, and four others sat in the back. You can think of me more like a sports car where the bulldog would be a bus. Hey, I am not a bus. Speed isn't everything, you know. Being lighter also means I can climb up steep hills. I can climb up a 60 degree hill no problem. Okay, we get it, you're fast, but speed isn't everything. Let's put ourselves through a few challenges and see who comes out on top. I bet if we had a race through some tough terrain, I'd beat you by miles. Oh, you're on. First, let's try a tight turn on a load of slippery wet mud. Here I come. Bring on the mud. Splat. Watch that mud fly! Ha <laughs> ha! Make way for the bulldog! Look at that spray! Driving through wet, muddy terrain is like a walk in the park for a heavy tank like me. 
don't you just love watching those seven wheels rolling around in those massive caterpillar tracks? Let's do that one more time. I think everyone will agree, when it comes to maneuverability, I'm the winner. You're too bulky to turn quickly. But I could cope with a lot worse than this and never play stuck in the mud. Now, what about that race? Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to the race everybody's been talking about. The Bulldog waving the Union Jack versus the Spartan. Both vehicles are on the starting lines, so let's get this battle of the tank beasts started. Drivers, start your engines. Listen to those engines roar. Three, two, one, go. See you at the finish line. What were you saying? <laughs> Hey, that's not fair. You got a head start. Catch up, Slowpoke. Catch up? I'll leave you standing, you old tin bucket. Hey, look at that. The little fellow's overtaking the bulldog. Whoa, that part was real slippery. Luckily, I've got these super grippy tracks to keep me on the path. My steel tracks are rubber bushed and fitted with removable rubber pads. Whoa! It's a bit of a bumpy ride, but I can tackle anything. Hold on tight. Whoa! I thought this course was supposed to be difficult. I love splishing and splashing in puddles. I hope my feet don't get wet. Wait a minute, I haven't got any feet. I haven't had this much fun since, what am I saying? I've never had this much fun. Is everyone all right in there? It's getting awful bumpy out here. So, <laughs> who won? I think it was a draw. Well, I think it's safe to say that we're both pretty quick on our tracks. See you next time, everybody! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Mega machines, like people, come in many different shapes and sizes. And they all have their uses. Sometimes they dig for treasure. Hi, I'm Trevor. Oh yeah, first time. Gosh dang it. Ah. Seven bars! Woohoo! Gotcha! Six to go! Oh no, I dropped it! Oh! There we go. Let's keep on trucking. I need five more. All right, two down. Whew. Only three more bars to go. This is a tricky one. Gotcha. Two more down. Nearly there. Just need one more. Oh, I found three. Oh, 
Oh no, they slipped right through my fingers. Let's try it again. Oh. Second time lucky. This is very difficult, but I'm not giving up. I can do this. Gotcha. Done. I wonder how Greg the Spinner is doing. Hey, I'm Greg the Spinner. Here they go. Are you ready? It's spinning time. My scope is six meters long. I can fit so much stuff in it. Let's stop before they get too dizzy. <laughs> well, that was fun, guys. We'll catch you next time. I wonder how lofty the crane is doing. Cranes are normally the tallest mega machines on the building site. There are lots of different types of cranes, and they have lots of different purposes. But they all go up, and they all go down. Hey, I'm Lofty. Today I'm going up. Up we go! I can extend my lift arm to 20 meters in length. I think I can still go higher. Are you ready? Let's go! Let's see how high I can get. Is that high enough yet? Nope, we are going further. Oh, don't look down. It's really high up here. Wow, I can see a boat driving around in circles. Down we go. Hold on. My lift works with hydraulics. Isn't that clever? Nearly there. We got so high. That was so cool, guys. Wow.